Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I have the most insane thing to show you. You're not going to believe your eyes. However, if you looked at the thumbnail, you probably got a picture of what we're going to see. Anyways, welcome to the simulation map. Things look a little bit weird. Why it's so dark? If you look around the perimeter, you see that we are currently inside of a mountain. The amazing Modder Omega has found a way to give us terrain and different maps in Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. And yes, they have collision detection. Now, I think we can fly through it. Let's just verify. Oh, oh no, we can't once we fly through. And we're on top. We are looking at Mount Everest. And we are not able to fly inside it. But what we are able to do is to summon units. So I'm just going to raise up, raise up, raise up, raise up, and over. And we're going to take one little clubber and one little clubber. Look how small they are. Look. Oh, God. Oh, all the cameras doing things. Look how small they are. We are on the tippy top of Mount Everest. I'm about to have an epic showdown between two clubbers. Here we go. And they go. And they start beating each other on the top of Mount Everest. This is insane. Now, this isn't the only map. There are other maps and there's new amazing units built by Omega. I can't wait to show you. Stay tuned and we'll see what happens. This Mount Everest map is massive. Let's get off the tip and let's go down here into this snowy terrain. I want to summon some mammoths because, whoa, God, too many mammoths. Mammoths seem to fit the whole snow theme and then maybe we'll just grab some squires and have a little squire versus mammoth fight here in the snowy terrain. Check this out. The squires are attacking the mammoth's home and they're working and killing in the shadow of Mount Everest itself. And these mammoths are doing work. I like these new maps. I can't wait to see what other maps Omega has for us. Mount Everest is not the only one. Before we leave, I want to see these berserkers try and kill this monkey king on the top of Mount Everest. <laughs> They're falling down the hill. Oh, when they die, they just slide down because of collision. Look at these guys. Let them go. Oh my God. It's like they're sledding. Uh, they stop sledding because instead of being on sleds, they're actually like dead and stuff. So here's the Monkey King. Here comes the Berserker. No, that's a that's a dead Berserker going down the hill. Monkey King is falling down the hill. And this Berserker here. Hold on, let me help you. Let me let me get you up and over this lip. Okay, ready, 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 ready. Go do a big jump, jump. Right. Why won't you jump? You, you should be able to jump right now. Why aren't you jumping? Here we go. Go and fight the Monkey King on the side of Mount Everest. I love this map. I love this mod. It's so good. Now we're over here on the Dribble Sandbox, and we're going to bust out the castle. What is that? Let's click it right there in the middle of the screen. Oh, God. And just back up, back up, back up, back up. I'm going to free fly. Here we go. <gasps> Yo. Yo, what? This is cool. It's like you've got a really, really weird kind of melting looking castle thing. I think this uh this visual needs a bit of work, but you can defend the castle. Is that a horse? Is is that supposed to be a horse? That is the most disturbing horse I have ever seen. And here's the castle keep. Kinda reminds me of Minas not Minas Tirith, kinda reminds me of um the Rohan castle. In a sense. So let's actually design a fight here. Here we go. We have the Berserker Viking army charging up the hill at the castle, being defended by archers and knights and squires. Look at these archers. This, I think the developers need to give us castles like this. Give us situations where we can have armies charging up a hill into defensible positions. Developers, if you're watching this video in the off chance, please give it to us. We have catapults, we have his majesty, and we have the derpiest derp horse that ever derped. In three, two, one, go. Full speed. Archers? So the archers are actually staying on the battlements because the battlement does have a ledge. Some of them are falling off. But they're staying up there and they're shooting at the enemies. Catapults have moved up. Catapults have catapulted their own armies. Armies are moving in. We have the berserkers attacking the squires in the front. A bunch of archers are sadly falling off the map because um, they're derpy. It's really cool that we can now make amazing fights on these modded positions, on these modded islands. I think we're actually over top of the tribal world, and yet we're actually on a castle, and our lovely attacking berserkers having a hard time versus all these knights. A bunch of archers are coming in. Catapults seem to be stuck, unable to shoot. A couple ice archers left. Yeah, it seems like the squires are going to win this one pretty handedly. Let's take a look at the next one. Let's pull up the arena. It's like a little half moon arena. This is interesting. 
because it's relatively big. That's really neat. You can probably hold like tournaments in here. Let's uh, make a tournament. Watch this. So we have, I put bards in the stands to kind of give you the idea of, hey, these are spectators. And inside we have the teacher and then the jester. And they're going to fight for the entertainment of all these people. If only I can make non-combative people just to sit in the stands and watch amazing fights. Here we go. Jesters. Jester messed up the teacher and now he's gonna actually go around and literally one shot every single one of these bards because the bards don't do damage the red team wins i think i really do like this arena i think it's a really nice concept though i wish it was more 360 as opposed to like a bit of an opening i mean giving you an opening is nice if they just made it bigger with more room in the middle to have these giants fight and then having them stuck inside the ring with high walls, I think they'd be really, really cool. And he just punched out that tree giant. Now, Omega has added one more modded map, and that's called Nighttime. Oh. Oh, look at this. It's kind of dark in here now. It seems like, it's almost like the sun is setting. Not quite set completely, right? You still see a little bit of daylight, but the sun, it's either setting or rising. And everything has this kind of dark hue to it now. If we take it to another location. Oh. Oh, look at the sky. That sky is so much darker. It does kind of feel like nighttime now. That's not bad. That's really cool. Let's drop the nighttime right here in the ancient... Oh, dude, that's cool. Ancient sandbox. And then we're going to take a look at the three new units, starting with the Beyblade. Guys, you have to remember, this is an Omega creation. And as such, it's probably going to be a little ridiculous. Oh, what? He put swords and scythes on the outside of the Beyblade. There is Da Vinci inside, still doing his thing. Swords and scythes. This thing's going to spin and cut people up. Let's give him an opponent. Let's give him a whole bunch of my favorite hobbits. Now, watching this fight at nighttime is definitely a different experience. He's going in and he's spinning. And he is cutting them. He's not spinning quite. Oh, guys. Guys, we need to make him a tornado. We need to make him a Beyblade tornado. This is going to be amazing. I mean, he's going to do the job here. He's probably going to cut down all these hobbits. We need a Beyblade tornado, guys. This is going to be so good. Let's do it. Here we go. Beyblade tornado. Need the cheerleaders to cheer him on. Okay, they're powering up, powering him up, powering him up. And tornado. Here it comes. Here it comes. Here it comes. Beyblade tornado. Look at him go. Oh, my God. The lag. Oh my god, the lag. The tornado is sucking up all the cheerleaders. And now, you have a spinning pointy thing of death. You see sides, you see... Actually, it's random weapons. The first time it was sides, and I think I can't remember what it was, but now it is samurai swords and jouster swords? That's interesting. But now, Mr. Beyblade is truly a Beyblade. The hobbits are killing all the cheerleaders, and this dude can't drive. Come on, get in there and get those hobbits. There you go. That's what we're talking about. Just destroy them. Oh, it's so cool. That's so cool. I like this unit a lot. It's a very fun unit. Um, where's the last hobbit? There he is. Um, uh, Mr. Beyblade. Mr. Beyblade, that this is your guy right here. It's right here. Come on. Da Vinci. Come get this hobbit. Da Vinci. Imagine being this last hobbit, just staring at the tornado and going, yeah, I will take this on. <laughs> <laughs> Did it kill him? There it goes. Da Vinci wins. Let's remove nighttime. Let's bust out the Mount Everest. No, not Mount Everest. Let's bust out the castle map. I thought that was a very cool map. Here we are on the castle, and now we're going to summon a new unit called the Cyclops. Let's take a look at the Cyclops here on his castle map. We have a giant tree and a boulder and one eye. Not bad. He's gray. Big ol' waist bones, because, you know, you need big ol' waist bones if you're a Cyclops, and a neck bone, but the fact that he has one guaranteed eye, that's very cool. I wonder how strong he is. And to be his opponents, we're gonna bust out the medieval squires again. We're gonna give him just a little, just a handful of squires. Like that. Let's not go like that. And let the Cyclops do his work, charging in on the castle gates as the... the what? What? Are they, are they running scared? Are they afraid of a Cyclops? Where, where are they going? Is it weird map? It, why are they up there? What is happening? 
Our, our Cyclops isn't doing much. And he's trying to tree these guys. He's not having much luck. Come on, get that tree up, up. Come on, smack him up. Smack him up. You did. Cyclops, smack him. Anytime now. You're useless. Oh, let's try this again. Okay, we're going to put the Squires right in front of the Cyclops. Are they going to run again? We're going to find out. Uh, no, we get bombed. And then they run. Why are they running? Is the Cyclops, is that part of the Cyclops' ability? Does he make them run? Okay, we're going to remove the map, and then we're going to see this whole running concept. Boom, Cyclops. Boom. Squires. Let's see what happens. They charge in on the Cyclops, no problem, and there's no running away. So what was with that map that was causing them to run? That's so weird. And now the Cyclops is flopping around. He cannot stay on his feet. These Cyclopses are not nearly as balanceable, balanceable as I thought. The Squires went right for their ankles, but big old tree to the skull. That'll get the job done. Let's bust out Mount Everest, and we're going to go all the way up Mount Everest and grab the Fencer Champion. This is a Fencer Champion, ladies and gentlemen, right here. Let's take a look at this guy. You are the Fencer Champion. You have a beautiful weapon. I love the Fencer outfit with the Fencer face mask and lightning in this hand. Are you dual wielding? Okay, you know what? To face you, we're going to actually put a second Fencer Champion. What happens when Fencer Champion fights Fencer Champion in slow-mo? Okay, weapons went flying. They disarmed each other? No, they're still holding two weapons. So how is that possible? How are they still holding two weapons when they sent weapons flying? Do they have backups? Why Why? Why are they running down the hill? What? <laughs> what is happening? What have I done? Why? Why are they just... Is there another enemy somewhere in the map that I'm not familiar with? Like, what is... Oh, they're fighting again. And they drop their swords. Are they throwing swords at each other? Is that what's happening? It's the weirdest thing. But they're continuing on their little mission to go down this hill. La, 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 la. Okay, they're fighting and swords get thrown. And then they grab new swords again. I swear, they're just like pulling swords up. Blue wins. The fight started all the way up that hill. All the way up that mountain, actually. It's actually it's a mountain. It's not a hill, it's a mountain. But yeah, blue wins. That was weird. Also, I just noticed on this map, you can see the top of that mountain poking out. <laughs> That's hilarious. A fight in the arena, Beyblade and Cyclopses and Fencers all together. Beyblades are going at it. They're, oh wow, Beyblades got riggedy wrecked. That was fast. And now it's just the Cyclopses left because even the Jousters and the Fencers didn't do a good job. Cyclops one, Cyclops two, one with a red necklace, one with a blue necklace. Nice touch. I like that. I like how they're just beating each other with trees and then throwing rocks at each other's chests. Like, it's the manliest man fight. Has anyone ever seen Princess Bride where Andre the Giant had this giant boulder? And he was going to kill the main character with the giant boulder. But he's like, we can put the boulders down and fight mano a mano. Mano a mano. Hand in hand combat. That's kind of what it feels like right now. But this big giant is just beating down on this tiny giant. Until the tiny giant knocks him on his butt! Guys, this fight can go on for a while. <laughs> I like the little hip chuck with the rock. What is going on? Why is this fight taking so long? How much HP does this guy have? Oh my god, there's a million HP. These guys are beyond neuro. I will fight. I will fight them myself. I'm an amazing- I'm a- I'm a- I'm a real-life Cyclops. Did you guys know that? I actually only have one eye. I am what you would call a real-life Cyclops. And I'm going to get in here and beat this Cyclops- Okay, you know what? No, I'm leaving. No, no, get away from me. No, no, I'm leaving. You can't fight me anymore. I want, I want to fight. No, no, I want to go. I want to go jump in the ocean. I just want to jump in the ocean. Let me kill myself. I can't get up. I can't get up. I'm going to use, I'm going to use my tree to help drag me closer to the ocean. This is fine. This is fine, guys. This is fine. This is beating me. He won't let me die. Ah, he just knocked me on my face. I want to die. <laughs> Using a tree to move faster in life. That's exactly what I expected. Bye. Time to go now. Bye. Bye. See ya. That's right. Come with me. Ah, that's too bad. I died first. So I've done something stupid. I've spawned a whole bunch of Beyblades. And I'm noticing a couple things. One, you can actually spawn a Beyblade with a bard weapon. What is a bard weapon supposed to do? How is that supposed to damage the enemy? 
Great question. So I do love the halibirds. That's a really good addition. Halibirds, scythes, swords. This one is shields and little uh, little fencing weapons. One of the shields will help. If we had shields and barred weapons, you're useless. You're like the defensive tank as maximum. Size and swords, not bad. Spears and stone axes. Spears, good. Stone axes, not so good. Oh, I like this one. This is the, uh, the, that, oh, what is that jade secret person's weapon? That's her weapon as well as spears. That's a great combo. This one's not bad. Big swords and signs, not bad. Spears and axes, not bad. Um, Da Vinci? Um, yeah, hi. Um, are you really gonna do this? Are you sure about this? I mean, I understand that maybe you want to use your, your, your vehicle as a hat. That's okay. This one looks like a fashion statement. This is not a vehicle. This is a dress and hat combo. And the dress is also a weapon of death and destruction. This is the single most fascinating thing. Fascinating, fascinating, fascinating thing I have seen in Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. And then you have this one, which is uh, ooh, lances and what's your face's weapons. <laughs> this is the defense first tank. It's small shields and big shields. Don't kill me. I'm covered in shields. This fight is ridiculous. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Cheerleaders are in. Oh, I'm actually cheering for the little Da Vinci tank. Like, oh, what? There's so much death already. Come on, little Da Vinci tank. You can do it. Okay, get some spinning going on. The bards are making music. Any tornadoes yet? Full speed. Oh, wow. Some of the uh, cheerleaders got wrecked. I don't see any tornadoes. I don't see anything else at all. No, our little one. No, the dress. No, that's a blue one. That's a blue dude. Where's our little one? Little, 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 little dude? Little dude. Oh, I lost him. He must have been blown apart to some other reeds. Okay. All right. All right. We have, we, have, we have a problem. We have a problem. It's uh, cheerleaders against cheerleaders. Not a single one of these things survived let's do a count we have one two three red what did they knock themselves out and where are they going where are you going what has happened why am i hearing swords the cheerleaders knocked themselves unconscious and now we're left with one cheerleader each in a weird tie and now, because blue is stuck on this hill, red's gonna fall into the ocean and blue's gonna win by default? Nope, nope, red got her ankles broke and blue wins. Congratulations, blue, you are the champion. Do you have anything to say for yourself in response to this? Yeah, I didn't think so.